Hi, this is James Melinda, James the Wine Guy, here to share this device with you today. Not this wine, I'll do this in a separate video. This is a wine bottle thermometer, and I got this from my brother. Um, and I think it's a really nice gift. It's something that I th I didn't even think of buying and um, very thoughtful. So it's from my brother, Joel Melendez. And for me, this is a really nice device. It's uh, You can see the temperature on this is 54 degrees. And it gives, this is Michelin on there, which is great. And I think that's a cute little um, homage to, or, you know, the, the logo here of uh, Bentham, which is also a wine shop and restaurant in London. And, um, you know, it's, it gives you a, a really nice... Um, faint, um, you can see it here, it says 58 degrees, which for me, it's perfect for white wine. Now you can follow this to its exacting points, or you can say, you know, I do want something that's chilled. And I would say on the sparkling wine and champagne, it goes to a very, very um, cool degree. So these are in Fahrenheit. This is 38 to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. And for me, that might be a little too cold. I do like my champagne on a little warmer side, but that is a preference that I have that you may not have. The reason I want my champagne and sparkling wine a little warmer is that I want some notes to come out in the wine that when it is too cold, there's no energy given to the specific flavors that are, that are going to emit from the wine itself, which is not always something you're going to have. So that's a, a great way to, you know, maybe gauge where you want to be. But if you really want to see, is it chill? Well, on here, it's a really great device. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see that as well. And I think it's, it's a really thoughtful, wonderful gift. So... Uh, salute to my brother, and uh, this is a nice handy uh, for the wine person who wants everything and may not have everything. This might be a really cool thing to add to their collection. So we're going to talk about this wine next, uh, the Paso San Maro. This is the Albariño, and uh, give this a taste. So I did cool it down. I think it's ready to taste right now and do a separate video because I believe you should have separate videos for different subject matter, so index as well when you do a search online. For more reviews, please go to jameswineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, and Google+. Salud.